Howdy! <laughs> My name is Colby, and today I'm going to be showing you something that is really hard to find out how to do, which is to check your oil filter on your 2000 to 2005 Honda Civic that runs on natural gas. First step, you'll find this little nozzle, which is in the rear driver's side underneath the car. You don't need to take any panels off or anything, it's just exposed, and you want to make sure that you turn it off. And it does actually say open and closed on it. I'm just going to go ahead and check and make sure I did close it. So now you've got no gas going to uh, your fuel uh, injectors up there. It's still a little pressurized in there, so when you take the canister off, you, you should be careful. Uh, you know, just, just be cautious. And then once you've got that turned off, you've got this little panel here, which, here, let me get a better, a little better look at it. This little panel right here which is where the gas tank would go if it wasn't in your trunk holding natural gas. You've got a couple bolts to take off. I believe that they are a 10 millimeter bolt right there. So you want to take this little plastic little panel down. You don't have to take the whole thing off. You just want to get it so that it's on the ground at an angle and then you should be able to get to the canister which I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. So this right here is the canister where your fuel filter is, uh, is located. Um, so I did turn off the fuel uh, with this little uh, valve right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get a size 6 Allen wrench metric and you're just going to turn here, turn, and it's a way of relieving pressure to the system. Now, hopefully it is off. <laughs> uh. You can see it's, it's reducing. That was a lot of oil, as you can see on my hand, that spurted out with the gas. These are the impurities that are in your natural gas. That was a lot more natural gas than I expected, but nonetheless you can see it's slowing. And then I also want to add that a lot of that oil is actually going to come from when you actually fuel at the fueling station, mm -hmm. uh, their, their filtration system, uh, when they compress the actual gas. So you see why it's a good idea to have this little guy on there. So you just go ahead and take it all off and see all of that oil on my hand. That's that's stuff you don't want to get into your uh, your fuel lines. This is not what you want to be spurting on out of your uh, fuel injectors. So now that it's nice and uh, unpressurized, you want to take that guy right off. Set that aside. Some more special. And then the next step is going to be using some locking jaw uh, pliers to uh, grab the bottom of this guy. If you if you can't tell, it's got a little notch in it, and that's so that you can grab it and then loosen it, and then you'll see your fuel our fuel filter. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at how much oil. So we've got our tool here, which is a crescent wrench. Crescent wrench. <laughs> <laughs> and so what we're gonna do. So we're going to get this guy in that little notch that I mentioned earlier, right? And we are going to loosen it. There we go. And you should be able to do the rest by hand. There should be a good amount of oil as far as we saw. Let's loosen this bad boy. It takes a while. All right. And the whole point of relieving that pressure earlier was so that now wasn't the time where all that pressure came out and it's flying out. So now we've got this little guy here, which is very weighty, be careful with that. And then we've got our fuel filter, which is right out. And it actually looks to be in pretty good condition considering all that oil that was just uh, accumulated at the bottom. 
which is why I've done this because if this whole thing fills up with oil then it will dip and soak this little fuel filter so but if it yours was all dirty and oily you'd want to get a new one and pop it right back on and then reverse as simple as that but I'm gonna clean this guy out a little bit before I put it back on I recommend you do too and you also should check and make sure your o-rings are still sufficient if not replace them every time you do this Alrighty, so we're done wiping out this uh, fuel canister here and inspecting the uh, the filter here so we're just gonna go ahead and put it back on make sure that the threads are correct you always want to do it by hand at first threads on this you can only imagine how expensive this little thing is if you mess it up don't want to mess up the threads on it there we go by hand and then it shouldn't be too too tight you don't need to get it crazy the o-ring is going to do most of the work for keeping it airtight you just want to give it a nice little you know nice little turn and it'll stop and that's when you stop you don't want to snap anything so you're going to go ahead and get your pressure relieving little huh all right you get this guy from wherever special spot you stored it <laughs> and then uh, put it back in make sure and again the o-ring always check the o-ring or just replace it every time since I did this not that long ago I'm not going to change the o-ring today but I would recommend it to anyone who's never done this before you never know if the person before you how often they changed it and tighten it and again with a little bit of finesse don't go crazy on it you don't want to snap these things I can't even imagine how expensive they are and I'm sure if you're on YouTube you're trying to save a little bit of money there it is then come back over here and I want to come over here tries the system again and you heard that little sound it means it's pressurized and you can close this back up Ugh. all right you've successfully changed a this is the 2000 Honda Civic natural gas you have successfully changed your filter um, some people think that the natural gas is it is a very clean vehicle but it still has a filter and you need to uh, make sure you maintain that it is recommend that you do it once a year um, and I can tell you it, it will accumulate a lot of, of that oil in your system if you don't but thank you for saving the environment and riding around in a natural gas vehicle and uh, that's it thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and uh, you have a good rest of your life